Hi, I'm Joe. And yeah, there's been a movie that's been out a couple weeks that's been stirring up some controversy. You know, even the making of it is really interesting. And people have been asking, like, hey, Joe, what'd you think about it? So here's what the average consumer thinks of the disaster artist. Be or not to be. It's not gonna happen for you. Not in a million years. What, after that? This town, Greg. They don't want me. Wish we could just make our own movie. That great idea. So there's this guy, Johnny, a true American hero, to be played by me. He has it all. Good luck, many friends, and also maybe Johnny is vampire. We'll see. Now this movie was really, like, unemotional. If you don't know anything about the subject matter, about The Room, then you're gonna find this movie really boring. It's about an interesting character who makes a really bad movie. And about him and the making of the movie and when it premiered. And if you don't know anything about The Room, I don't know what you would get out of this movie because this movie's unemotional. It just tells you what happened. It doesn't make you feel bad for the characters. It doesn't make you feel good about the characters. It just shows you what happened, you know, and yeah, sure, Tommy Wazoo is an interesting character, and yes, James Franco does a really good job playing him, but that is the only highlights of the movie if you don't know anything about The Room. If you do, then you get some information about the making of the movie, and it is cool seeing them recreate it, but even seeing people recreate a bad movie isn't enough to make it interesting or awesome. Wait, there was another movie that came out recently. What was it? Here's what the average consumer thinks of The Last Jedi. This is not going to go the way you think. Okay, so there, this movie does have flaws. It's not Porgs. Uh, here, spoilers. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, okay? So yeah, this movie does have flaws. Uh, not Porgs, not Leia Poppins. <laughs> what? You look like Mary Poppins. Is he cool? Hell yeah, he's cool. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! Going now, just at this point, I'm gonna list what I believe to be the flaws of The Last Jedi, but keep in mind, I like this movie a lot. So here are the flaws. There's too much hype, and there's no way any possible movie can meet those expectations. Uh, the droids that were doing all the hacking, with Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, well, what the hell was that? Don't do that. Why would you do that with this movie? Do that with some other movie. Do that with Transformers. Do that with a movie that people do agree is bad. Okay, don't do that with a movie that is highly debatable of whether or not it's good or bad. Do it with Justice League. Uh, with that being said, this movie had great action. Too much great action. And that's the phrase I'm going to use for uh, this. It seemed like every time there was more than four people in a room, there was an action scene. Now I get it. Star Wars. Wars. Half the title. And we want to see people fight. That's what they do in these movies. They let out their emotions through violence. Through beautiful, beautiful violence. Uh, but we need to have the emotional part. Sure, we see that they're emotional, but we want to be emotional with them. So give us a little bit backstory. Snoke, who was he? Poe Dameron, what's his backstory? The Resistance, how did they start up? Rey, what's her backstory? You got one more movie left, okay? Come on, you have three movies to give us a backstory. One, you want to say, hey, here she is, but she's mysterious. Come on, give us a little bit more. Uh. Uh, who else was uh, Laura Dern's character? What's her connection to the Resistance and uh, General Organa? 
Give us some backstory. It seems like every time you had a chance for backstory, you wasted it on an action scene. A beautiful, beautiful action scene. So, give me some backstory. Let me connect with these characters. With that being said, uh, here's what I think are some of the positives. Such as an original plot. Sort of. Uh, you had a Jedi or a Padawan, Jedi Padawan, go off to learn from a Jedi Master on a very wet planet while people were being pursued by the Empire. Yeah, this the Empire Strikes Back. Uh, and then I th have a feeling that that's why they added a Codebreaker subplot to kind of mix something new in. So it's kind of like instead of just having chocolate cake with icing, you got chocolate cake with icing with sprinkles. The sprinkles are unnecessary, the Codebreaker subplot was unnecessary. It was only kind of to disguise to make it seem like this was an original movie. Uh, also, new Jedi powers. And yes, I'm talking about Leia Poppins. And Luke's, and spoilers, Luke's holographic thing. To me, these are positive, and this is going to lead me to why I believe people don't like this movie. This movie has Star Wars fans, people my age, 35, older, people that grew up with Star Wars in the 90s, heck, even the 70s, uh, who are now, what, like 35, 40, guy, even 60 years old. It had them grow up. It had Luke age. You know, you know that little teenager that you like to pretend to be in your head? Yeah, he's old and, uh, and wishing that he was dead. That's why people don't like it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I kind of see why people would be put off by it, but come on, it's episode 8, alright? He was a teenager in episode 4, and then he kind of grew up to, you know, through 6, and then this is like 20 years later, so he's, you know, middle-aged now. And people don't like that. The Jedi are evolving, the Star Wars universe is evolving, the Force is evolving, everything is growing up. And the fans don't want to do that. That's why they're watching the movie in the first place. They want to see Luke be, oh, I was going to pick up some power converters. And now he's all like, I wish I was dead. Um, and fans can't identify with that. They can't accept the fact that time is going on in reality as well as in the movies. So they're like, boo, get this erased from canon and have Luke be a teenager again saying, I want to erase my Skyhopper. No. This movie is good. It respects its characters. It has them age and go through pain and everything else people do as they grow up and grow old. So I like this movie, despite its flaws. All right? It had, and don't get me wrong, the original trilogy had flaws. The prequel trilogy was nothing but flaws. Um, and The Force Awakens was a repeat of the original trilogy, and this movie was completely different. It had flaws just like all the other Star Wars movies, only everything else about it was original. The flaws were original, and the positives were original. Original Star Wars. Don't you hate it? I don't. I liked it. I give it a recommend, and that's what the average consumer thinks of Star Wars The Last Jedi.